Welcome investors to the 40 Finance Channel. My name's Jeff Beers. It's time for the August edition of Stocks Under $20 where I come through all of the market data and look for a few stocks trading under $20 that I think can go up 25% or more over the next year. I always try to dig a little deeper for this to come up with some names perhaps you haven't thought of yourself. Before we jump in though, reminder as always, my stock picks and projections are just my opinion for your entertainment. Please talk to a financial professional before taking on any risks in the stock market. However, if you like videos like this and going deep on stock analysis and personal finance topics, then please subscribe to the 40 Finance channel. Thank you to everyone who supported the channel so far. Okay, so for today, I've broken this up. We got six stocks on the board, broken them up into two groups. The first four that I'm gonna cover are sort of like established businesses that have a proven track record of income. Um, they're just hurt right now. They're just hurt either by COVID or slowing sales. And the opportunity here is somewhat recovery, somewhat getting back into a world of predictable growth. And for these first four stocks, I would definitely say for myself that the investing timetable would be 12 to 18 months, really try to capture the train getting back on the track, so to speak. All right, first one on the board, Smile Direct Club, ticker symbol SDC. This one I have covered in detail last week with a standalone video, so check it out if you're interested. Uh, stock price today at 751. I think it actually was down even a little bit more than that in trading this morning. No P ratio for this one, it's a pure growth stock. However, they are assuming profitability somewhere in Q4. You got a 52 week range of 364 to 2110. And if we look off to the right on the graph, uh, that 2110 high was a long time ago, back in September. We're getting ready to lap that uh, high, if you will. And the low obviously came during COVID time. And what we're seeing with Smile Direct and what I like about this stock is it relies a lot on retail, It'll, it relies a lot on dental referrals and some other imaging things that come into play. And when you went through COVID and of course, depending on employment with it, uh, they definitely saw new customers drop significantly. And that, in my opinion, creates a big opportunity uh, for this stock that was on the right path but the business model sort of got tangled up in all this COVID stuff. And, the, and I think the priority for a lot of people definitely changed uh, between uh, you know, teeth straightening and general health and well-being. Looking up at the top of the screen, no forward PE right now. Again, expecting that to come out. There would probably be a forward PE in the Q3 uh, calculations. You got trailing 12 months revenue of 631 million, cash on hand of 388, and a debt load of 462. So even though they're going through some tough times, as far as sales go, still in a good position revenue and cash wise to manage their debt load. All right, on the tip rank side of things, we, we look at tip ranks to get a feel for how do the best performing analysts look at the stocks I feature on my channel, what have the latest analyst updates show us about how they're thinking about the stock. And for Smile Direct, we have four of the best performing analysts who have reported an update over the past month. They're all buys. Price targets range from $10 to $14. So that's anywhere from about a 33% upside all the way up to an 86% upside. So again, like I said before this segment, Smile Direct, that's probably a 12 to 18 month hold. This is a stock that I own. I'm excited about it. I will pick up shares, um, anything under 750 and up to maybe 5% of my portfolio. That's what I'm looking at with Smile Direct. And the expectation is 
It's gonna be next year, if not 2022 before I sell, but hoping for that, you know, close to 100% gain on this one. All right, next on the board is a stock that has actually run up a little bit, but I still like it. That is Angie Home Services, A-N-G-I for the ticker symbol. Stock price today at 1465. P ratio is pretty high there at 340. And the 52 week range goes from $4.10 to $17.05. And while Angie has had a run up, I will say that this one's attractive to me from more or less of a long-term growth perspective. It's not necessarily beaten and battered as you can tell, uh, but I think the opportunity for it right now in the real estate sector uh, through a combination of refinance loans and people just generally improving uh, these homes that we have to live in more and more. Uh, I just really like what they're doing. Not a wildly profitable company yet, but again, they are in a major growth stage right now, and I'm bullish on their sector and the service they provide for the future. Forward PE of 1400, which is obviously much higher than uh, some of the other stocks we'll see today, but again, you're talking about growth. Trailing 12 months revenue, 1.4 billion. Got cash on hand to 420 and a debt load of 239 million. So no concerns there. All right, so again with Angie, this is one that is not sort of buy low. This is one that you're buying into a momentum. And I think you guys have heard me talk about Rocket Mortgages. That's another stock I purchased recently. Um, if you're buying into Angie, you have this bullish thesis on uh, residential real estate, whether that's home improvement through refinancing mortgage or just people buying new homes. And of course, when they buy a existing home, there's usually updates that need to be made, uh, not to mention just general renovations to customize the house. That's where Angie Angie comes in. Now, looking at the tip rigs analysts, we have looks like six of them in there. Price targets between $15 and $18. So, somewhere in the neighborhood of a 15% to 22% upside uh, by the analysts. This one for me, though, is probably more like a get in early two year hold. Uh, we know that interest rates almost for sure are going to remain low through at least 2022. So if you have any interest in riding a real estate bull train through 2022 while interest rates are low, I would take a look at Angie stock. All right, next stock on the board is Elf Beauty. This is a name that I've liked for some time now. Uh, Elf Beauty coming in at 1929 on the stock price. P ratio of 62 and the 52 week range has been between 758 and 2102. And if you look at the chart for ELF off to the right, what we really have here is just a company that's barely gotten back to par. If you're not familiar with uh, the consumer product inventory issues that a lot of companies have had, getting product to the stores for a lot of people has been an issue. I don't necessarily know if that's affected ELF, but what I can tell you is in general, consumer product inventories are way behind schedule and there's anticipation of a buying boom in the products category. I would imagine that ELF would benefit from that, not only directly for people looking for their products, but also uh, as folks become more comfortable with going to stores, ELF has a great distribution set up with major retail partners. They're certainly gonna benefit. Looking at the top of the screen, you got a forward PE that drops significantly down to 29.15, trailing 12 months revenue, 287 million, cash on hand of 54 million, and a debt load of 150. All right, another thing to keep in mind with Elf Beauty is they are an affordable line of makeup products, so we don't have to worry as much about unemployment or you know general salary caps that might be in place during this COVID era. They are an affordable brand. They're known very well for their social media marketing. They just launched some sort of TikTok campaign that had you know, a bazillion views. So they know how to reach the audiences. And in my opinion right now, all we need is store traffics to pick up 
and the general consensus of back to school, uh, needing makeup, wanting to get dressed up, I think those things will start to pick up now that the school year has rolled on. On the tip rank side of things, we have five of the best performing analysts. You got price targets between $20 and $25. That's a range of 3% all the way up to 29%. And I'm definitely on that 29% side of the argument. This is the kind of stock that you're certainly not going to re regret holding for 12 to 24 months. Capture some of that momentum as they get back online with their traditional sales channels. This company was already growing, so they've just hit a hiccup here. They're at par. Things are looking better. Will you get in uh, for the next leg of their growth? That's the question to ask as an investor. Okay, next one on the board here is BG Staffing. This is a staffing service that serves uh, multiple industries, but namely professional, real estate, and some light industrial. And this is a company that was growing quickly through acquisitions and market penetration prior to COVID. We look down and we see the stock price today at 972, P ratio of 2769. 52 week range of 569 up to 2238. And you do actually get a dividend with this one. Uh, they have trimmed their dividend over the past couple COVID quarters. However, they are still offering one as of today. Looking at the chart on the right, you can see what we've got here. This is a company that was growing, that was making gains. We all know what's going on uh, with unemployment, which technically should be good news for a staffing firm, but we know that a lot of jobs were eliminated for a couple few months. If you read into economic news at all, uh, especially on real estate and light industrial, those jobs are coming back. And on the professional side, uh, BG Staffing has pretty good penetration into IT and service launching. So I like that they have these experts within their reach because those are the kind of people, certainly from a temporary standpoint, who are going to get opportunities. Looking at the top of the screen, we got a forward PE that dropped slightly to 2381, trailing 12 months revenue of 288 million. Cash on hand, I had trouble finding this number. It wasn't displayed in Yahoo. It looks on the investor site that it's around 4 million. They do have a debt of 47 million. And that's something that we will have to watch with this company because a revenue bounce back is still going to take time. Like the others, this is not a quick change kind of stock. This is a 12 month stock where you hope that employment numbers uh, get progressively better every month. And let's just say after into summer of next year, fall of next year, if these guys are riding back to their original wave, then you certainly have potential for 100% gain here, uh, assuming a lot on the unemployment side. But don't forget, we're talking about temporary staff, um, consultants, things like that. That's going to be the first place I think that a lot of employers look uh, during this COVID era. All right, on the tip rank side of things, only two analysts cover this stock. And the one that came in most recently was 13 days ago, buy signal at 1550. I crossed out the second one because it's nine months old. So to me, the world's obviously changed quite a bit since then. Uh, but think about this, if when you start to see employment numbers look better and you start to think about IT, real estate and light industrial staffing, if you see an opportunity there, then BG Staffing is definitely a company to get into. They are attacking the market aggressively through acquisition and growth goals. Uh, I think there's a lot of positives here. All right, second part of this presentation features two stocks, and I'm gonna call these the YOLO stocks, okay? There's not an established business model. Uh, it's pretty much pure theory on my part and speculation, so no promises here. What we're gonna see is a couple companies that I think maybe from a swing trade perspective, right? Maybe a six to 18 months kind of perspective 
Can you hold on and wait for the big event that may or may not happen? But if you're in it when it does happen, then you're looking at some substantial gains. All right, first one on the board in the YOLO department is RAP Technologies, WRTC. RAP Technologies is a one trick pony, but what they offer is the deployable restraint system that is used by police officers as an alternative to guns and tasers. So this is the kind of thing, obviously the news has been very concerning lately. The Bola Wrap, which is manufactured by Wrap Technologies, is basically a string with two weights on the end of it. And when the officer uh, fires it at the offender, they wrap around the suspect's body and essentially bring them to the ground uh, either through wrapping their legs or their arms. It renders the suspect powerless so that the officers can detain the suspect uh, without major physical injury. Looking at the chart on the right, you can see that as the news uh, about police shootings sort of propped up, RAP Technologies hit a high in the neighborhood of 1440. And since the news has quieted down very slightly, uh, we're down to 775, which is about where it stood in pre-COVID times. You look at the top, we don't have a PE right now, and trailing 12 months revenue is only $2 million. They have plenty of cash on hand and a small debt load of 630 k This is the catch on wrap. You need contracts from large police forces to come in and then this company is off to the races or you need an acquisition from one of the bigger security firms out there. Um, I watched a couple videos on this uh, Bola Wrap technology. It's very interesting. Even if you're not interested in the stock, you should go check it out just to get a feel for um, how defense tools are changing. All right, on the tip rank side of things, we just have two analysts who are covering this one. Again, you're talking about $2 million in revenue. You're not gonna get a lot of press for a company that size, but we have price targets at 12 and $14. 50% and 80% up from today. Again, with wrap, you could probably get in this one um, and wait. And you're waiting, you have to believe in what they're selling and you have to wait until the contracts come in. Don't forget, just because there's all this stuff going on in the news, uh, the wheels of tax dollars turns very, very slowly. Uh, so they could already have, you know, sort of verbal agreements, but that contract money won't come in yet for a while. All right, last stock here in the YOLA category is GIA, I think, uh, ticker symbol G-A-I-A, -A, uh, stock price at 1163. And what we have here is sort of alternative videos that this company has been offering on their own and both through products and through a video subscription. And they've done a good job. They actually have paying customers who join their channel much like a Netflix streaming play and to watch their meditation and yoga videos. It's very interesting because if you look at the top right, this is something, and I've read this theory a couple times now, this is something that does Netflix or Roku or you name it, come out here and want to add this company to their streaming offerings in order to boost subscription numbers. Yoga is popular, working out is obviously popular with the Pelotons and the mirrors and all these things. Can this company carve out an offering in yoga meditation that would be picked up by someone like Netflix to add to their subscription offering? Um, I think it could work. As it stands today, the company got a boost recently in stock price due to their positive numbers in subscriber acquisition, mostly during the COVID phase. But what they've proven now, they've proven that, hey, people will actually put their credit card down and pay for this type of content. And when they're buying into yoga and meditation and such, then guess what? We have other products you can buy to help you with these things, whether it's candles or yoga mats or whatever. Um, it's a great concept. 
You see at the top of the screen, trailing 12 months revenue of 59 million. They got cash of 8.6 million and a debt load of 16.7 million. And I wouldn't invest in GAIA uh, because I would think that the company itself will grow you know, to Amazon numbers or something, right? I, and that's not what I'm saying here. The win is partnerships. The win is bigger streaming offerings and that's what you're hoping for. All right, on the tip rank side of things, again, not a lot of coverage. The most recent update was 20 days ago. You got a price target of 1450. That's up a little bit from today. I imagine you could watch this stock and pick up a dip day here or there. They just came out with their earnings, which showed those uh, sort of membership numbers, and everybody got excited about it. I imagine that excitement will pare down over the next, uh, call it three or four weeks, and you might be able to get it closer to $10 or perhaps even under. And if that's the case, throw it in a corner and see if a bigger company comes after them to pick it up and potentially add it to their existing content subscription base. All right, guys, those are the August stocks under $20. As always, I try to dig a little deeper to give you some names you may have not thought of. Hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a like and subscribe if you did. We'll see you on the next video.